Well, hey there, guys. Elton McFall here, 9 a.m., 2nd of April, 2021. Gorgeous morning. I wasn't expecting a gorgeous morning like this, actually. I thought it was going to be shitty like it's been most days. Anyway, uh, happy to be here just a block from my place, the park here. Finally got this uh, American La France, American La France, Aero Chief ladder done here. And uh, I actually finished yesterday, but it just wasn't nice enough to film it. <coughs> and uh, winds are at about uh, 25 uh, clicks an hour, so hopefully that's not going to be a problem. And as you can see, uh, she got a lot of detail on her, and it took me uh, took me about pretty much almost exactly three months to finish it. I think I might have to take my gloves off to do this. Because you don't have a steady hold with the gloves. Well, I wish that graffiti wasn't there. What are you going to do? I live in a freaking ghetto here practically. <clears throat> you know? So you can see why she took so long to build. All those decals alone took, I don't know, an hour more. It's really cool to see it out here in the bright sunlight in the morning. And I just had some fun with it with the decals, kind of following what was on the box, kind of not. Specifically the, um, the horizontal stripes there. And the whole MFD thing, well, that could be whatever you want, Montreal, or... I'm just kidding about that, because Montreal did not have American La France trucks, as far as I know, because they're too expensive. <coughs> it cost too much money to buy. We had a lot of Max, you know? Give you a view on this side here. I think the most challenging thing to build about this... Uh, this rig, as I figured it would be, was not the cab, but in fact, it was that ladder. Let me turn her around here. Yeah, it's freaking windy. It's really annoying. I could have waited until tomorrow, but I looked at the winds and said, ah, oh, 30 kilometers an hour. Like, ah, oh, geez. All these uh, spears here on the top here and the axes, that's all hand painted. A lot of hand painting on this model. Um, just see if I can show you underneath here. It's not easy to do. Something just fell off. That's just great. Shit. That's what I was afraid was going to happen. See that? The bell just popped off here. Oh, it's not good. Damn it. Oh, it's freezing. I gotta put my gloves back on. Goddamn winter won't leave us alone. Yeah, I was hoping this would be more fun to film, but unfortunately the cold and the cold wind is not making it very, uh, very pleasant, but whatever. I'm happy to bring this to you nevertheless. As they say, no pain, no game. So as I mentioned in previous videos, the one, one of the easiest things to put together was the cab, the frame, the engine, the Detroit diesel, which is, uh, oh, it's nestled in there, is known as a mid-engine truck. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not going to raise up the ladder because I put it in fixed place because it's too loosey-goosey. And I'm going to stop this for a second to show you the other side here. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention, all this here below the spears, those are all ladders. You know? Some people I wonder why I did a truck like not red, like almost all of them. I said, I got to do something different. I like that. I'd seen that in pictures over the years. I thought it was neat. You know? So hang on a second here. Turn this guy around. Now I just noticed this here. Okay, well those ladders there, they're supposed to be standing up there on the side. But uh, I'm just bringing it over here. They fell down. And uh, uh, one of the most annoying things about this truck, unfortunately, was that uh, you see that hose there, that pipe, sorry, I should say, the pipe for the water. 
for the uh, platform for the firefighters well that that actually I didn't notice that until like this morning before I left that it was crooked it's all like it's not straight there it's supposed to be straight and then the funny thing is that when I went to actually put that hose on over here it wouldn't fit there was like a gap of like a half inch so I had to rig it up so that it would fit so I don't know why but again this this model has got a couple of flaws in her you know uh, like I had mentioned before about the uh, the rear deck over here if you look at the uh, the whole floor here where the base of the platform is the turntable you can see it's not straight right over right over here it actually looks worse on the other side even so that didn't impress me and uh, so again again just to mention it again this is not a model for the novice at all you really have to have several years experience to uh, to build this another thing that I would have done differently would have been the, to give all that white uh, specifically sorry not the roof of the truck the roof of the truck's got like three coats I think the wheels too but all that whole ladder uh, the whole parts for that it's just uh, I, it's only two coats of paint I would have gone a bit more on that actually you know and uh, I'm not surprised that bell fell off, but you know, it could be worse, eh? I thought about bringing my regular little Canon uh, compact camera to film this, and I'm like, ah, I'll bring the, I'll bring the phone, it's the highest quality, even though the sound is shit, quite frankly, it's quite flat, you know, see, the, the ladder does go up a little bit, but I can't do more than that, because it, it'll, it might just break off, I had that actually happen, so... I mean, you can only use as much glue as you can, you know, so I'm going to stop this a moment and take a few pictures. So that's it. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It's not perfect, but then again, nobody's perfect. Life is far from perfect, especially nowadays. And um, would I build this again? Probably not. Of course, if I did, like I said, I'd make some changes. But again, very happy with the result. Love how the yellow pops in the sun with the white contrast. Even actually I'm not bad on this crappy old uh, picnic table here. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just do like a slow walk around of it if I can. It's kind of fitting that there's graffiti all over this table because I hate fucking graffiti. I hate it. You know, it's everywhere in this neighborhood and other neighborhoods in this city, just like other, other cities. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, but graffiti has been around a long time. Yeah, but it's worse than ever. It's like a freaking epidemic right now, just like the virus. Worse, you know? I'm trying to think of anything else that I should mention that I did on this rig I should know about. Oh, the interior, by the way, was supposed to be black. And I'm like, meh. I want it to be different as usual. So I did it brown. By the way, that bell that popped off, I think that's like the third, fourth time it falls off, actually. I mean, the the decal sheet alone is, is impressive. That alone is worth like 10 bucks, you know? I mean, man, I uh, paid 70 bucks for this kit. 70 bucks Canadian. And, uh, very happy with it as long as a bus and by the way that reminds me if any of you at AMT or whatever round two you see this I'll give you an idea for a model I've wrote to you guys before I wrote you an email once how about doing a GM new look bus man how about doing any kind of bus a school bus a coach that'd be amazing you know how many people like me would buy that oh my god and the possibility are, with a GM new look bus model the possibilities are endless because they were almost they were almost sold in every city you can imagine you know so, uh, that's it boys and girls, thanks for watching, take care, yeah I'm not crazy about the way that pipe got all curved like that, I don't know how that happened, I guess I wasn't like that before, but whatever, you know, it probably won't be displayed on that side anyway, so, is my exhaust hanging off again? Oh, the exhaust is hanging off again, shit, see how, see how, how how fragile these models are that's why i wasn't crazy about doing this outside but whatever it's done i'm happy about it and uh
Got a nice shot of her in from the side there. There you go, we finish with that. Take care guys, thanks for watching. I hope this model, uh, this build inspires you to make your own builds or, or create anything that's uh, worthwhile doing, you know. Of course, if you don't have any patience, don't bother with doing this because uh, it takes a lot of patience. <laughs> thanks for watching guys. Take care, stay good, and uh, stay safe. Bye-bye.